Since the original video about how to download and play Counter-Strike Online 2 came out, the website has changed quite a bit and so has the registration process. So here's an updated version on how to register, download and play Counter-Strike Online 2. At first we have to open the registration website. Click on the first link in the description down below. As of late the servers are quite unstable, so you might have to reload the website once or twice till it works properly. Click on the green button here and then fill out all the required fields on the next page. Enter your nickname slash username in the first field here. It has to be a minimum of 4 digits and a maximum of 16 digits. Next comes the password and password confirmation. Well, just enter your password there. And then they want you to enter your email address. It isn't actually used for anything, so you can just enter a random email address there. I used a temporary anonymous email address and I also tried no.name at fake.com and for some reason that actually worked. This field wants you to enter your name your Chinese name. For that visit the Chinese name generator linked in the description down below. And then just copy and paste your Chinese name. The last field requires you to enter your identification number. Since you are most likely not a Chinese citizen you don't have such, so you have to use a random generated number. To find one just google Chinese ID or just try some of the names and numbers from the third link in the description down below. I tested it and you can create several accounts with the same ID number. It just seems they're not really paying close attention to the whole process. To finish the registration process, enter the security code. It sometimes does not appear. When that happens, just move your cursor around the area where it should be or click on it. Then it sometimes appears. If that doesn't help, just reload the page. As I said, the servers are somehow unstable. But when it works, it should look like this and your name appears up here. And the little button on the right takes you right to the download page. If the download doesn't start right away, just reload the page a few times and then it should work. Just like I said, the servers are a bit unstable. When the download is finished and the installation is done, it is time to start the game. This can be a challenge as well cause sometimes you'll get this message. And there are two ways to fix this problem. Either just restart the game until it works or go into the game data and look for the CSO2 launcher. This way it always worked for me so far. When you got it to run properly, enter your nickname slash username and the password. Then select one of these two servers up here and then you are ready to roll. After you press the play button a little program will load and it sometimes can create another error. If you get the error message, just repeat the process until it works. Once the game started you will be asked to create a user profile. This is the name that the other players will see. Then you will be asked if you want to play the introduction mission, so kind of a how to play, kind of the single player campaign of this game. If you want to click on the left button, if you don't want to click on the right button. But I suggest if you are playing this game for the first time, play these 6 introduction missions, they give you a little insight in how the game works and also provide you with a basic amount of credits to unlock weapons and buy useless stuff in the store. And you will get a random bonus weapon. In my case it happens to be a PMK, a Russian slash Soviet light machine gun. That's it for now. Stick around for more, cause in the near future we're going to take a closer look at the menu, how to change settings, unlock weapons, craft stuff and of course buy silly accessoires for your character. And of course we are also going to look at the different game modes Counter-Strike Online 2 has to offer, cause these are quite a few. Besides the classic Counter-Strike game modes, which are pretty much the same as in Counter-Strike Source or Go, you have a bunch of new little weird fun games. Just saying. It's, it's really fun. As always, I'm interested in hearing your opinion on the subject, so rock the comment section. See you soon, goodbye and guten tag. Oh and PS. If anyone of you knows a reliable upload service where you can upload data greater than 3GB for free, please tell me. That way the installation data could be uploaded somewhere more reliable and the download would be way faster from a European or American server. Even a South Korean server would be better. So, see you next time. Goodbye.